Hello everyone and welcome to our academy. I hope you like the impressive building, but the building's nothing. The most impressive thing about our school are our students because um, they're the most important thing. And I just want to talk to you very briefly about the values and what we aim to do. It is about every child. Every child is precious. They're your children. Um, you want to know as a parent, when you send them to us, that they'll get the absolute best education, that they'll be known, they'll be cared for, that we will listen to them, and that we will do anything um, to give them the best start in life, because that's what education's about. It's about preparation for life, about employment, to be successful, to, ha to have strong mental health and well-being, to be kind, to be good people. And we really work very hard. Our curriculum is about GCSEs, it's about education, about literacy, it's about reading. But I want to be proud of when my students leave here um, every day, and when they arrive every day, I want to know that they're kind, that they're good people, that they make good decisions, that they reflect, that they've got resilience, that they've got all those characteristics, like 100% attendance, coming in every day, knowing they can do teamwork, they can work together, thinking about their impact on other people. I want our students to have every advantage um, in the world so that when they leave here, they're actually ready for employment. They're ready for a really successful life. That means everything to us. And on top of that, obviously, to get the absolute best grades they can do. And we don't care where students start from, it's where they're going to be. And we really are ambitious to make sure we put everything in place that we can possibly do that's reasonable to give them the absolute best start in life, to, to make those, develop those work and employability skills. So I hope you are interested in our values. Um, they are uncompromising. We are ambitious for every student. We don't accept excuses. We look for opportunities. And you'll see if you speak to students today and talk to them, ask them about the values of the school, ask them about why they wear their uniform smartly why we tell them about manners about respect about being the very best they can be because we believe that being brilliant every day today will make them successful every day in the future and get them ready for a world that's we don't know what's the future will hold we don't know we know only too well because of covid that things are unpredictable and we want to make sure our students every single one of them leaves here confident articulate and ready to face the challenges with optimism with happiness and to have fun along that journey. I think that's really important. But don't listen to me. Um, I, I'm going to invite students into my office. That they're in here every day. Um, I'm a head teacher who likes to walk the corridors, who likes to directly talk to students. And I want you to hear for yourself what they say about our school. Thank you. Hello, good evening. I'm Catherine Davis. I'm the principal here at Bex Hill Academy. And I'm really proud to welcome you to my students because I can tell you anything about the school. Um, but I want it to come from their mouths because we really believe in lifting students up, in promoting them, to make them leaders with us, to listen to their voice. And as a head teacher, I like to be approachable. You know, we're in my office now. Um, I often have an open door. Usually students can come and talk to me if they have a problem. And I just want to ask them what kind of a head teacher it is. Because I know as parents, making a decision about your child's secondary school is one of the most important decisions of your life as a parent. You know, your precious child, you're giving them to us and they change so much in secondary school that you, I want to assure you of the kind of education they'd have here so that you can make a decision about whether our family at Bex Hill is the right place for your child. So I'm just going to ask the students to, to tell you what kind of a head teacher there is here at Bex Hill Academy and I haven't given them any prompts, this is their own words. I don't know what they're going to say but you'll get the truth and you'll get some real feedback. Chris? Um. The school is like a second family for me. All the teachers are very welcoming when I enter the class. I feel very excited when I see my teachers and I, I feel ready to learn. Excellent. And is the head teacher strict and stern? No. She, no. She's very happy, joy. She's full of joy. She's very fun. And she sticks with people. If people are sad, she just makes them feel more happy. It's That's just, lovely, it's Chris. It's a better place. Chris, thank you. You're saying it's a better, it's a good place. Yeah. Um, and, and that point you made about sticking with people, I think that's really important because we don't always get it right, do we? Sometimes we make mistakes, don't we? We want to be brilliant every day, but life happens, doesn't it? And you know, I want all my students to know that in those times when maybe they're not quite getting it right, we're going to stick with them. We really try hard to make them better people and to admit if we do get things wrong, that's fine. Just let's try and make it better next time. Um, because we want great people, we don't want perfect students, those don't exist do they? 
just like perfect head teachers don't exist. We want students that are resilient, that are confident, that feel enabled, feel empowered to move forward and be great people in their futures, not just it today. So what do you think about the school? It's a respectful environment where everyone can learn peacefully and everyone in the classes and all the teachers are very respectful respectful to each other. They are very kind towards each other and they make sure that everyone is having a good day. Excellent. And both of you so far, you've talked about respect. And respect obviously is our key word. We believe that that's really important, that children don't just show the veneer of respect, but actually we have this little symbol of a rock and having respect all the way through. It's like whatever situation you show respect to yourself, to other people and to the community and try to make the community better. So I'm glad you mentioned respect, but you also mentioned kindness. And I think kindness and being joyful and being happy are really, really important. And we try very hard. It is a school. We're very serious about our business of education. But we want children to feel loved, to feel cared for, to feel that, you know, there is kindness. They can go to people with problems. And also that, you know, we care about them as, as human beings, as individuals. And it's about your personal qualities that are important, not just about your education. Uh, we haven't really talked about, you've said lessons are fun, are joyful, uh, well ordered, you said people are kind. So what about ambition? Um, if a student comes to my school, because parents are listening, if they come to, to our school, our family, um, tell me about lessons and about challenge in lessons. Can I ask you? Uh, lessons, they can be fun but also challenging at the same time. So we we have a bit of fun and then we get get on do our work and have a challenge. Can I just ask you, how, how are you challenged? How do teachers make sure that you're working to your best ability and driving forward? We have the expected, exceeding and excelling, which are three different levels of learning. So e excelling is the best one, exceeding is one in the middle and expected is the one we should be expected to be at. Our age. So that's the minimum expectation that children of your age should be at this level. So you know exactly where you are and you know that if you're doing even better than children your age or you're excelling. So excellent, I'm really pleased about that. Can I just ask you about that as well? About <coughs> challenging lessons, how do teachers support you to do your best work? Um, well, basically what Chris said, but there's also another level which is emerging if you're not at the expected level. Okay. Excellent, because some students aren't quite at the level of where students their age are at the moment. So we call it emerging and we, that shows our highest you know, expectations for them, that we never give up, we give lots of support. Can you just explain, any students here, can you explain how teachers support students that aren't quite at the level they should be? What kind of support do they get in lessons? Um, they kind of like help you, like um, they explain to you how like um, different things work and like they help you if you're stuck. Without any questions. Okay, so they help you if you get stuck, they notice. Any other ways? Um, like if you're if you're struggling in a lesson, yeah. they don't shout at you, they don't pick on you, they don't make they don't make a fuss, they just make they just trying to do like help you okay. and make sure you get the proper education that you need. Excellent. So that sounds to me, Chris, like like students are valued at whatever level they're at. They're all equally valid and given the right support. So it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay if you need help as well. And you talk very much about high level students and about driving those standards. And it's lovely that you're able to talk about students that struggle a little bit as well. Because we are one family and we equally care about every student. We don't care what the starting point is, it's where they're going to be. So is there anything you want to say about the school and about lessons and how teachers help in lessons? Everyone's fairly treated and if you have dyslexic or anything we can provide you with the colour of paper you need or anything like that. Excellent. So students with special needs get support and you see that in your lessons. Excellent. Because I could say to, to the parents and the people considering our school, I could say this is a fabulous school, This is you, you need to come here, it's the best school in the area. But actually, I do believe that. I do believe that. I believe every school's right for each student. But I, I can say that my school is like a family, that we care, we listen to students, they lead with me. So I'm not a head teacher who's unapproachable. You know, I walk with the students. I remind them about the uniforms. We say good morning, don't we, every day. Uh, we talk to each other in the corridors. And I like to, to say that I notice if students aren't quite how they should be in their normal self. So we all work together as a family. And I encourage you to report issues as well if you've got concerns about other students. 
or you've got concerns you know about lessons maybe where you're not learning as well as you should be as well as celebrating those moments when things are great so we're a very real school we're absolutely driven to be outstanding we're very aspirational you know I've as a head teacher myself been a head teacher before and you know taken two schools to be in the top 10 in the country for improvement for rapid attainment for really producing fabulous young people just like you and working with them to make this school something it is great already we're going to continue to just keep adding to it and that's why our school is oversubscribed in every year group you know so if you do want to get into this school it's really important that you put us down as your first choice um, so that you don't have to you know be disappointed so thank you very much for listening and uh, good luck in your choices if you would like to say goodbye as well Bye. thank Bye. you thank you so what's it really like here well actually it's not more than just a huge school it's one big family we're all really kind to each other here and everybody's so nice and helping and after I've gotten more used to the school it's just felt so much better it's begun to feel like home for me it was what I was worried about was making new friends but actually I have a really good group circle of loads of fun friends and I have having loads and loads of fun a highlight of my day is usually break time and lunch time because that's when we all get to sit in the huge heart space and it just really makes me feel how many people are here and how many people are supporting us through all of this and I also really really enjoy wearing my uniform because it makes me feel like I'm part of something really big and special and it's also really comfortable so I can wear it all day without fidgeting and um, the staff here are so nice they're really kind and they all teach their subjects brilliantly. They make the lessons go by really, really quickly and they always, well, they always just make us feel safe and ha make us enjoy our lessons. But my favourite subjects so far are definitely science and food tech. They're so, well, they're environments. They're just so inspiring. And, well, there's loads of equipment and that just makes it so much more fun. All in all, this is an amazing school and I can't wait to see what the rest of my future will be like here. So parents and carers, you've heard from me, you've heard from the students and now really it's down to you. You've got to make one of the most important decisions as a parent that you will have to make for your child's life and that is choosing a secondary school that's, that fits them, that's right for them. And I can say to you honestly, if you want a family environment, if you want a school where every child is precious, every child does matter, where they'll get um, lifted up and taught how to be kind, articulate and caring young people, um, if you believe in manners, respect, about putting in 100%, then this is a school you need to consider putting as a first choice. Um, we are oversubscribed in all year groups um, and if you don't put as a first choice you know it may be unlikely you will get in but I just want to leave you with one image and it's this because this drives me every day I want your child I want every child I want every member of staff to leave and to, to, to walk around feeling proud of themselves and it's up to us and me as the head teacher to find that excellence in every child and every adult and to make them strut strut around to be proud to lift their head high and to be excellent to be brilliant every day so i hope that we'll be part of your journey and if not i wish you all the best in making one of these most important decisions you'll ever make for your child take care thank you <laughs>